um, it's just Francis and I'm just coming home to my brand new flat. I picked up the keys this morning and I've stopped by now that work is over to give a quick look around and do an inventory check and just inspect everything before I move my bags in tomorrow. So it's blowing like absolute crazy outside but I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a tour from the front approach all the way through and you can see what my new digs look like. So um, hope you enjoy it. Okay here we are. This is my new place. I'm in the top floor of this gorgeous building and my entry is here around the back. It's actually quite nice. I've got my own private entry. I've got a little table there so that I can enjoy coffee outside in the gorgeous sunshine or rain anyhow. Um, rubbish bins, all of that. Solar powered clothesline and several little pots and that that I have no clue what are in them but eventually they will line the stairs and so we head on up the stairs to the front door. It's kind of nice. I've got two sets of doors and I've left them open today just for easy access. So through the storm door and there we go into my new flat. So this is just a very small entryway. There's not much to it but as you come in you've got a fair sized bathroom with the washing machine off to the side. It's very, everything's empty, but there's kind of funny signs there. Um, nice electric shower over the bath, but, so that'll be quite nice. Um, through we'll go up and around the banister, go down. My friend used to live here and she's left me a little note, so um, Thank you, Rebecca and Graham. Back down the hallway, there's a freezer so that I can make lots of food ahead and into the kitchen. It's very strange because since my friend lived here before, I've only ever seen it as a fully furnished flat and now it's like a ghost town in here. That's nice. Gas hob, gas oven, so that'll take more learning how to cook still. And um, coffee pot. And a pretty little spotty teapot. So then back out into the hall and heading down. The first door we're going to go through is a double bedroom, actually office space. Rebecca has left me a pile of craft goodies there. I haven't quite gone through them yet, but I will. A nice window and a chair. So I'm not quite certain what this room will be. I'd like to use it as a guest room, but for now, office area. Down the hallway again and into this small twin bedroom. This is the room that I stayed in when I first came to Sterling. I stayed here with Rebecca for about a month or so before moving into the last flat. So that's nice. Very small room, but that's okay. And then there's the entryway so that you see there. Little telephone table, um, cork board, all kinds of goodies. And I've already left my handbag lying around where it ought not be. In fact, my handbag should go in here, the closet. So, but it's being used for storage stuff. So maybe instead of that, my handbag will go, let me back up a bit, into the dressing room. So this is the dressing room area. And I already have my coat hanging up, so why isn't my handbag in there? I don't know. But lots and lots and lots of upper storage units. And more storage there around the corner. I don't own enough clothes to fill this closet up, but I will do my best. So maybe that's where my dad will go. Anyhow, moving through into the master bedroom. So that's a full on of the master bedroom. And now, of course, the best room is the living room, the lounge. And here we go, walking in. We've got a futon, pulls out. Nice table. I know there's a glare for the window there, but there's a nice table with a window seat, bay window there. 
walking around. There's another window off to the side, a TV fireplace, and then another couch there. So let's see if we can give you one great big overview shot of that room. Kind of sneak behind the door there. So, um, I guess that's it. That's my new home. There's loads of space for guests and company and that, so you guys should all start making plans to come over and visit. Um, I'm really excited about the new home and the new future that it's going to provide for me. So I guess now it's head back over to the old flat, finish packing up so that I can move all of my stuff in tomorrow. Um, see you guys later. Bye.